Family Star as a movie tries to touch upon the sacrifices of people who work hard for their families. And while I was watching the movie, I did feel that to some extent. I mean, all those people who left their hometowns, they are sending home money after working hard and then having to watch this movie after paying 400 bucks. There are action films that would piss off Albert Einstein. And there are family dramas that could give you diabetes because the characters are so sweet. But sometimes rarely there come those movies that take that sweet spot, that small sweet spot between a headache and a migraine. Hello and welcome to Film Companion South, you're watching Not At All Review. My name is Rida Ranjan. This week's movie is Family Star. The film is written and directed by Parshuram. The movie Family Star works too hard to establish Vijay Devarkonda as the perfect man. He's the kind of man who runs and fights for Russian supplies. He has a banter with his grandmother and likes to remind people about the importance of family, healthy habits and a good life. So far so good. But he's also the kind of guy who beats up local goons and makes settlements for locals. Now think about it, who would take on a local goon for a stranger putting the same family he was lecturing to us about at risk? This confusing characterization lends itself to the film's tone as well. Director Parshuram goes for a certain realistic heroism, but it is all too dull and drab. Filled with coincidences and a lack of inventiveness, it is like the script was written by Samosa Chat GPT and the writing is just mind-numbingly stupid. One character in the movie is doing a thesis on anthropology and as someone who has done research from Central University, it is frankly embarrassing. Like we are shown the research to be written in bold, like five lines on a page. There are two brothers in the movie who nurture a conflict that is just silly, it could have been resolved over WhatsApp. It is a case of Sitamma Vakitlo, screenplay Chetta. Then there is Mrunal Thakur, a case of a golden hand turning into an iron leg. It's a strange role where she barely says anything. While Geeta Govindam also had a wafer thin plot, it had something going for it. But Family Star asks a lot more important questions. For one, why is an educated woman, an MA in anthropology, tolerating all this nonsense? If the characters just said sorry to each other, and indirectly if the director told us sorry and asked us to leave in the first half, wouldn't the world be a better place? Are we supposed to idolize a person who loses his anger in seconds and has the emotional maturity of a meduvada? Why are corporate companies tolerating the kind of stuff you would have to report to a disciplinary committee to? As an atheist, I started believing just to be able to say, God damn it. At one point, J. Bob, that is Jagabati Babu, comes on screen. Now, I was mildly excited because I was hoping for at least the pure dumbness of a film like Miss India. But Family Star is stupidity being passed off as cute or emotional. The performances are all heartbreakingly bad. The family members are so one note, you would think they are a product made by Microsoft. Remember how Mrunal Thakur lost her memory in Hai Nana? Well, she doesn't seem to have gotten it back yet. And Vijay, well, nothing seems to be going for him in this movie. It is neither the dialogues nor the action or the comedy. <laughs> Family Star as a movie tries to touch upon the sacrifices of people who work hard for their families. And while I was watching the movie, I did feel that to some extent. I mean, all those people who left their hometowns, they are sending home money after working hard and then having to watch this movie after paying 400 bucks. Family Star is the kind of movie that gives you instant regret. It possesses no intelligence of its own and assumes the same of you. It is like director Parshuram himself asking you, Scripte undalaiti. Thank you so much for watching our review of the movie Family Star. I hope you had fun. If you haven't done it yet, please subscribe to Film Companion South on YouTube by pressing the red button or the bell icon. Thanks.